It's all eyes to the lights and foot to the floor. Engineered to champion the next generation of female talent by breaking down barriers on track and creating opportunities off it. F1 Academy Racing Series is an all-female category designed to develop young drivers and give them the experience needed to progress through the single-seater ranks, through Formula 3, Formula 2 and all the way up to Formula 1. 15 drivers aged between 16 and 25 make up the grid in five teams who operate three cars each. Ten of the drivers are backed by a Formula One team and racing in their 2024 livery. Reigning drivers and teams champions Prima Racing have three F1 backed stars in their ranks. Mercedes Junior Dorian Pin is a former French karting champion, Formula Four and LMP2 winner, racing alongside Maya Wung, the first female inducted into Ferrari's Driver Academy and a 2023 race winner in the Formula Regional European Championship. They're joined by Aston Martin's Tina Hausmann, the highest placed female driver in both the Italian F4 and Euro 4 Championships last season. ART Grand Prix's lineup includes McLaren's Bianca Bustamante with multiple kart titles to her name and twice a race winner in Valencia and Monza. Williams backed Leah Block trades the desert dunes and off road racing for her first year in single seaters. The youngest ARA rally champion in history will compete alongside Brazil's Aurelia Nobles, supported by Puma and a former senior category winner in the FIA Girls on Track Rising Stars program. Sauber Academy's Carrie Schreiner joins Campos Racing, the German a three-time podium finisher in the Nürburgring 24 hours and 2023 F1 Academy race winner in Zambort. She's joined by the Haas-backed American Chloe Chambers, the former US F4 and W Series racer made history in 2023 in becoming the first female pole sitter and winner in the Formula Regional Oceania Championship. The third Campos car is driven by Spain's Nerea Marti, backed by Tommy Hilfiger and a proven podium finisher in F1 Academy, taking her maiden win in France last season. MP Motorsports are continuing with their 2023 roster, with third place finisher Hamda al Quabaizi backed by Red Bull Racing and her elder sister Amna competing in the colours of Visa Cash App RB. They're joined by Dutch driver Emily de Hausch, who finished ninth place overall in F1 Academy in 2023 and is also supported by Red Bull. Alpine junior Abby Pulling returns for a second season with Rodin Motorsport after taking two poles and finishing P4 last season. She'll be racing alongside fellow Briton Jessica Edgar, the 18-year-old fresh from winning in the final race of her rookie season in Austin and Lola Lovenfoss, supported by Charlotte Tilbury. She'll be seeking a first F1 Academy win after previously scoring podiums in Austria and her native France. Wildcard entries have also been introduced at select races this season, with entries being offered to talented young drivers from the host region, for which Prima will operate a fourth car. These entrants will be eligible to score points in the driver's standings, but will not count towards the team's championship. Just like Formula One, F1 Academy race weekends take place across three days, commencing with either one or two free practice sessions lasting up to 40 minutes each, giving teams and drivers vital track time to gain an understanding of their cars, circuits and tweak their setups accordingly. Then they head into a 30-minute qualifying session to set the grid. Uniquely, each driver's fastest lap sets the grid for race one and their second fastest lap provides the order for race two so drivers always have to keep pushing to the limit. Two championship points are also given to the respective drivers who begin races one and two from pole position. The two races are of equal length at 30 minutes each and use the same point system as Formula One, with 25 for the winner down to a single point for finishing 10th. A driver can earn a maximum of 56 points in one weekend with 122 available for the teams to play for fastest lap points are also handed out in each race to the driver and team who achieved the fastest valid lap time and are classified inside the top 10. 
and for the first time at the end of the season, the top five drivers in the standings will get FIA Super Licence points, helping them on their progression through the ranks. F1 Academy is a one-make series, meaning they race identical cars where driver's skill make all the difference. Their Tatus T421 chassis uses 13-inch tyres provided by Pirelli and are powered by a turbocharged 1.4-litre four-cylinder engine supplied by Auto Technica, delivering 174 brake horsepower and hitting a top speed of 240 kilometres or 150 miles per hour. Those engines will power them across the world to seven venues, spanning Europe, Asia and North America, racing on the same weekends as Formula One. Saudi Arabia's Jeddah Corniche circuit plays host to the season opener, before the field heads stateside to race on the streets of Miami. The mid-season European leg begins with a trip to Barcelona, before drivers tackle Zandvoort's legendary backed corners after the summer break. Singapore hosts round five on the Marina Bay Street Circuit before the season concludes with a double header in Qatar and Abu Dhabi. F1 Academy continues to champion driving change in motorsport by providing a platform to inspire and support young girls and women to embark on their own journeys. F1 Academy Discover Your Drive is a global initiative aiming to promote and increase female participation in motorsport with activities ranging from grassroots level and community initiatives to professional programs. The goal is to inspire girls and women to explore a future in motorsports and make it more diverse, inclusive and accessible. So find out who is set to be the next racing superstar and join us for 14 races of high-octane, thrilling wheel-to-wheel -wheel action. The future starts here.